Here's a simple puzzle app made in app lab on code.org. The result of the puzzle, the answer, is this QR code hiding in the back. But first you have to reveal it by removing all these pictures. So all these pictures are a little puzzle to figure out. And all the answers are a three-letter word. So uh, the most obvious one is dog. So you just come down here and choose dog. And when you do, that picture goes away, revealing part of it. Now, if you hold your phone up to this QR code, it still won't work, right? Because you have to be able to see the whole thing. So we'll get rid of this one in the corner. That one is C S E A. And of course, you can pick your own pictures and your own words. This one's an ace. Uh, notice as I'm doing this that every time you get one right, it resets to ZZZ. -Z -Z. We'll talk about that in just a second. And then the last one is an I. That's kind of tricky. The eye of the needle. Okay, and when you get to this point, uh, the user can hold up their phone and it can take them to a web page that has the results. So let's talk about how to make this. Uh, first of all, you need to create the page that this is going to go to, and it can have whatever you want to on it. Uh, I just made this in Web Lab, which just says, you win, or whatever you want it to have on it. Then you take this link, the share link, and in a new tab, come over here and go to any QR code maker. It doesn't matter which one. And paste it in there to generate your QR code. So you'll want to download this image as a JPEG and upload it into your App Lab project. Uh, this one. Okay, so now the app itself. First, we'll start with design mode. So you need to f decide what your puzzles are going to be. You know, what are your riddle questions? And make sure that you put your QR code in the back there. Now, I labeled my pictures by their location. So the ID was top left, top right, bottom left. And there should have been a bottom right, but I think I lost it. It's the picture of the sea. I don't know where I put it. That's okay. And then you need to drag over these drop downs for the letters. And you can rearrange them to any way you want to. And then let me show you how to get the letters in here. When you when you drag one of these, you'll see over here options, option one, option two, like that. We're gonna change these to the alphabet. So let me get this out of here and I'll just show you one. See how I've changed the options to A, B, C? So that's what you're going to see when you pull it down, all the way down to Z. And you're going to do that three different times. The ID for my dropdowns are just drop down one, drop down two, drop down three. If you wanted to do a puzzle with four letter words, you could do that. Just make them a little skinnier, and it would work the same way. Okay, um, let's talk about picture order. Uh, these pictures, you need the QR code to be behind them. And you can control the order of the pictures right here at the bottom with depth. So you can make things hide behind or go in front like that. So that's what you need for that part. All right, into the code. I've only got, let's see, I have some more screens, but that was just experiments. So the only screen that matters is this screen one. All right, so what you want to do is I've set it only to check the results, like if you've spelled something correctly, when the third dropdown changes. So that means after they've chosen something right here on the last letter, because I'm, I'm going under the assumption that people are starting at the beginning of the word and going to the right. So when the last dropdown changes right here on this yellow bit, then I make three variables. One to hold the value of the first dropdown, uh, another to hold the value of the second dropdown, and the last one to hold the value of the third dropdown. And then uh, once I have these three dropdowns as a variable value, then I just check each one individually with 
an if statement. So if the first letter gets a D, and the second one gets an O, and the third one gets a G, then I hide the dog picture, and I reset all the dropdowns back to Z. Do you remember when I showed you uh, over in this example? Um, the reason I reset them to Z is because some of my letters uh, have an A in them, like ACE and C. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that the third dropdown had to change in order to get the correct answer. So that's why I reset them to Z instead of resetting them to A or whatever. Okay. Um, you can take this one and copy and paste it, and it will give you this one. All you got to do then is just change the letters that you're checking and change which picture disappears. Uh, same thing on these last two. Just change the letters right here and change which picture it makes disappear. And that's the whole thing.